Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. In this video, I will discuss the critical shortage of home health aides and caregivers. Now, according to a recent article by the American Immigration Council, or AIC, and I quote, the United States will need to fill nearly three quarters of a million open jobs for home health and personal care aides every year through 2031. Currently, immigrant workers fill these jobs in outside numbers. Now, without more workers joining the workforce, the drastic shortage of AIDS could leave millions of seniors without the ability to remain in their homes, unquote. In other words, in the coming years, there will be a shortage of home health aides to care for the elderly. And I know that Filipino caregivers, whether in the U.S. or even back in the Philippines, could help alleviate this health care crisis. Now, I've posted several videos on my YouTube channel, U.S. Immigration TV, about petitioning caregivers, including relatives for employment-based green cards, which, of course, I invite you to view for additional information and requirements. It's perfectly legal for family to petition family members for employment-based green cards, including caregivers, housekeepers, and the like. But according to the AIC, health and personal care aides are one of the fastest growing jobs in the U.S. It is estimated that an average of 711,000 jobs will open up every year in the U.S from 2021 to 2031. This is mainly caused by the unprecedented growth of the U.S.'s senior population. We're about 10,000 baby boomers, and that's Americans born between 1946 and 1964, will turn 65 every day. In fact, I'm a baby boomer. And it is estimated that seven in 10 baby boomers will need long-term care during their lifetime. Now, as a result, the number of home health and personal care jobs is expected to jump by over 25% in the next 10 years, from 3.6 million in 2021 to 4.6 million in 2031. And I quote, this occupation will experience the largest increase in new jobs of any occupation in that period and will become the largest occupation in the country by 2031. I mean, we are going to be in desperate need of caregivers. Now, meanwhile, there is a critical shortage of caregivers in the U.S. It is estimated that over 330,000 home and health care aides will drop out of the workforce each year for the next 10 years, primarily due to retirement or other reasons, different types of jobs. In the meantime, seniors in the U.S. prefer to stay at their own home versus a nursing home, which would also cost the U.S. less in housing them than in nursing homes. You know, it's cheaper if a person is able to stay at their own home versus going to a nursing home. Plus, they feel more at home in their real home. However, as more baby boomers age, many will not be able to stay in their homes unless we can attract more workers to serve as home health aides. In 2019, it was estimated that almost 37% of all home health aides in the U.S. were immigrants, including undocumented workers. And as the AIC article points out, and I quote, we need immigration policies that can attract and provide support for more foreign-born health aides. This will prove to be critical in securing the much needed care of our aging population in the years to come." Unquote. Now, I personally know that Filipinos are among the best caregivers in the world. And I have to say my 95-year-old mother has a Filipina caregiver. And I also know with all my heart that my mother is still alive only because of the excellent care provided by her Filipina caregiver. Marami salamat to my mother's caregiver. I'm shout out to her. And I also know that caregivers are eligible for green cards through employment-based petitions. It does not have to be a college-level job or require extensive experience. 
Many Filipinos I know own care homes, even six bed facilities, or they have aging parents. And I know that the thought of sending a parent to a nursing home is just completely against Filipino culture. The parent must remain at home. And petitioning a caregiver, even if they are in the Philippines and even if they are a relative, could be the answer. And I invite you to see other videos on my channel concerning this subject. I hope you have found this video informative. And as you can see, there is that critical need for caregivers. If you know of somebody in the Philippines or here in the U.S., if qualified, they can be petitioned for a green card. And I would strongly recommend you consult with an attorney who can go over the case, see if the requirements are there, and help process the green card. I'm Michael Gerfinkel, and thank you for watching U.S. Immigration TV.